everyone and welcome to Danielle's desk. Uh, today we're going to be planning in my Erin Condren vertical planner for the week of June the 14th through uh, June the 20th. We are just moving quite along in the month of June. Uh, super excited. Um, things are really thinning out in my Erin Condren. Um, I just can't believe she is super super thick if you can see her. Um, but it's going to be great to just actually do a flip through and I am going to, um, I am planning on doing a flip through for you at some point, uh, in July. But for our kit today, we're going to be using a kit, uh, from River and Ink. Um, I love River and Ink. I've used, um, her before. Um, let's see if I can flip through a River and Ink one for you um, a lot of people like this one on Instagram so this was my river and ink one uh, that I did um, and I love the bright colors on this one it was just a beautiful cheery cheery spread and so uh, for this week I'm gonna be using a farmhouse kit by her um, as you can see this is the uh, weekend banner deco uh, we have some scripts bill pay uh, this one is our full boxes. This is our date covers. And um, I love these half boxes. They remind me like of, I don't know, cloud. I call them cloud boxes, but they're really cute, especially with the uh, plaid or checkered uh, date covers. We have our checklist, which are super cute. And they're just like little mugs. So, and I feel so appropriate because I have my tea right here. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's also form house as well. So I thought it was just appropriate for me to use my form house cup today. And then this is our deco sheet. So really super cute. I'm, I'm really excited to, um, to work with this kit. I did pull in um, the Happy Planner Form House sticker book. This is the original one that came out with this one and a modern form house. I own both of them. So they had some stickers that will correspond um, that I think that I might uh, want to pull in. It's just here as an option for me. And for washi tape, um, I've pulled in some Simply Gilded. This is from the new sub box that we got. Um, I get the washi only. I started to use the um, the green leaf. Um, actually, I can pull it for you so you can see what I mean. But um, I wanted to use this one, but it is a different color green than the kit. So I did not use it. I wanted to so bad because I, I don't have a kit that matches that. But I did pull in the black and gold washi that came with that kit. Um, and then I pulled in, um, this is a washi tape from Office Odds and Ends. I PR for her. Um, and she came out with this uh, cute uh, leafy uh, plant uh, washi uh, kit. It comes in a trio of three. And so I will make sure to link her down below with my, um, my affiliate code and discount code for you. And then I'm also going to possibly pull in some Simply Gilded, um, not Simply Gilded, I'm sorry, Fancy Plains Co. Uh, grid Washi in black. So I think that I may be able to use this in some places. And this is just a random, I believe this is an Amazon find uh, a long time ago. So I don't even think I can find it for you. But it is just a... Um, palm leafy um, that actually matches the kit perfectly so I pulled in all three all four I'm sorry five um, so we have options because I like to have options because I never know where I'm going to land so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to white out everything at the bottom or the good majority of everything get this all done And then I'm not really sure where exactly I want to start with my washi. Um, I hope I am not running out because I'm not sure if I have any more corrective tape. So let's pray that I still have some. Sorry, I had to take a sip. So I'm not sure if I want to go with... Look at the full boxes on here. 
I think that I'm gonna tie this in more in the boxes, this one. So I think that I'm gonna start off the, the bottom uh, with the office odds and ends um, leaf washi. And we'll start this one at the bottom of the page. Okay, and I'll cut this piece later. And so we would want to break it up with, i um, guessing we're gonna break it up with this one, which is really pretty. Um, I actually like the black and gold and how simple everything is. Um, so when I opened it up, I mean, you know, when it's sealed up in the packages, you really can't see anything. But when I took it out, I was like, oh my gosh, this is a really, um, a really nice simplistic washi I I really like this a lot um, so I'm happy I was able to use it I would be more happy if I was able to use everything but I'm gonna find a kit I did say that I would go on the buy sell trade and try to find a kit that goes with it I just haven't had time I think I've seen a couple of them but they wanted like $15 or something for the kit and I think that's too expensive. I think the most that I would pay for that kit is 10. Um, <clears throat> so, so we have this and so we need to decide on what we're going to use for the top. Now, I did pull a smaller washi for the top and I did that in black. So I'm not sure if I want to continue with that or what I want to do. Let me look in the book real quick. I don't think that there is any washi strips that matches this. See, there's some washi strips right there, but they do not match it. So if we went with grid, we could go with gold. I think that I may go with a gold one. So we'll pull in there. And there's actually some gold up here too that I want to pull. So this is also came in the kit. I want to pull that one too. And here I have to watch my golds because some of them are coppery type gold. And this is actually a perforated washi that I'm using, but I'm going to use it as just a regular washi. Um, I just need to find the ends on it. There it is. So I'm just going to use it as a regular washi. <clears throat> Usually I come up a little bit higher with my washi but I think it'll be okay. So I'm just gonna leave everything as is. So we are going to use corrective tape on the rest. And I pray that I don't run out. I have not looked and seen if I need to buy more, um, which is kind of bad. Um, I think I may have one more. I just really can't remember, which is really bad. Take a sip. Just curious um you can comment down below how many of you are actually tea lovers most people are iced coffee lovers and they they just love their iced coffee i'm not a coffee drinker i used to be a coffee drinker um a long time ago and then when i went on my weight loss journey i gave up coffee because i liked it in you know with all the cream and sugar and everything bad and and i can't have it any other way um, cause I don't do black. So I just gave it up all together. And then I always did like tea. Um, I just drank more coffee than I liked tea. And then I just really started to get into tea right after that happened. So my tea collection is pretty large. Um, so I'm just curious of how many of you enjoy tea. 
and I do not like my tea cold. Um, when I say that I'm drinking tea or whatever, it is always hot. It is never cold. That, and then we're gonna put down this one. It's gold. So we have all that down. I'm gonna go ahead and do my headers while I have it flipped upside down. I'm, I have this one right here, which is like I said, is what I use, what I got in the last uh, Simply Gilded sub box. So she gave us um, some headers, but this is, oh, this is just the bill due and all that. I'm still not gonna open it because I might use it. So I guess that I am going to go ahead and go with the black on top. Since that's all I have, and I don't have a leafy washi tape in a five millim millim five millimeter. Sorry, so I think I might go with this one, and I'll go ahead and cut this and get this all squared away. Usually, I like to alternate, but <clears throat> because of um, me not having a leafy five millimeter, I'm not gonna be able to. So we're just gonna go with the all black and gold at the top, which is still gonna look really good. Cause I think that green is going to uh, pop in other places. So it should work out good. It is quiet in the house again right now. Um, my daughter and my daughter's at work, but the baby is visiting his dad or staying with his dad, not visiting, but staying with his dad. So house is quiet and there's no baby squeals or cries or whines or any of that. I am really starting to appreciate that. It has been a while since, you know, I've had babies in my house. So it has definitely been an adjustment for everyone um, with having a baby in the house. But he is just the sweetest and the cutest thing. <clears throat> tomorrow morning, uh, today's Friday when I'm filming this. So on tomorrow morning, there's this uh, consignment shop that is... In the nearby town and they're they're going to be having their like onesies and bodysuits um i think it's by 30 for 10 bucks i mean like really really cheap because he's just completely growing out of his clothes and he does not have a lot of three to six months which he is in through he's two months but he's in three months so i need to go over there and get him some clothes so we got all the headers down, which looks really good. We're gonna put our day covers on now. And let me zoom you out just a pinch so you can see me put on the day covers. And I'll also need to pull some numbers as well, um, unless there's some in here. Oh, there's already some in here, so good. I love it when kids have numbers. I'm taking another drink. Oh my gosh, that tea is so good. That's a peach tea that I'm drinking, if you're interested. It's a combination of uh, peach and uh, um, a zen, like a green tea. I love that combination. It's just, it's one of my favorites. One of my favorites. <clears throat> Yes. I hope you can't hear the neighbor's lawn lawnmower. It is just so hot in Texas. People are cutting their grasses like later and later. Oh, I just realized that I snipped some of that 
when I pulled it off, I gotta be a little more careful. Can piece it back on. It's not the issue. I can be heavy handed at times and not realizing what I'm doing. But we can piece it back on. It has a little line, but it's not real noticeable. Sunday. So great. So she gives you numbers in here, which I can appreciate. And we're starting with the 14th. <clears throat> perfectly in here um i have been knowing about river and ink for a while um someone had mentioned it on one of my bookish pages before but i i think that i may have visited her page and then got off or whatever and then she ended up i think having a sale or something and then the moderator of uh the bookish page that i that i'm on she thinks she posted a sample of one of her kids or something and then i went on there and i just completely fell in love with her whole aesthetic that was on her site and um i just knew that i needed to order and um i did i ordered like two kids and i ordered some icons and just she she has bookish things but she has other things as well for you so but i love her color scheme like i said i love her aesthetic it's just i i i love it i do i love it okay so let's do the sidebar now i'm gonna zoom you in a little bit closer and we need to figure out what we're going to use for our sideboard box. And she gives you way, I mean, a whole bunch of options for you to use. So, it's just also cute. Um... I could do this one and it has like that green and every that combination so i think i may do this one to go on the side part okay great and then let's use some of this washi here and then we'll add a little bit of gold to it as well. And we will add a little bit of gold. if we have uh, some type of habit tracker which I know she does um, she has water here but I don't track my water um, I was trying to look for a like a today sticker or let's see one let me see something in here that might correspond with everything. I have a today's focus. I don't think any of the greens really work in here. I might use these, I don't know. Um, I have 
of these, but again, they don't. That green is really light. It's not the, like that deep, rich green. Yeah, that's a good focus. So, let me see how this looks. Pull the green. Doesn't look bad. It's just a, a lighter color than the rest. Um, so we will make do. I'll keep with the black. dark green so we'll put that there and then we will continue on with the washi I believe that's what we're gonna do those This one, I am just in love with this washi right here. I think, I think it is stunning. Some of you are probably looking like Danielle, it's just black washi. Nope, it's not just black washi. It is simple, it is well made. I love it. You gotta be a washi person to understand. the sidebar I love the way that looks that looks it looks really good okay. let's lay down the rest of our full boxes so let's do this one here I love that plaid it's very very form house that that plaid We can do this one here, which I'm gonna take this one all the way to the bottom to cover that up. And then we'll need one there, which we'll go with the plants. And then here,
all the way at the bottom. We have one left that we can use somewhere. And I'm going to put it right here. There we go. It looks really good. I like it. Let me zoom you out a little bit. I think it looks good. It looks real good. So, let's put down some functional things. So, I'm thinking for the weekend banner. I'm going to put down this green washi. And this came from, like I said, came from Amazon a while ago. It was years ago. I can't even remember. And I've used a lot of it. But I'm quite sure that you could probably go on Amazon and find um, some that are, you know, very similar if you're just interested in that. Okay. So we have that. Do I want to layer it with a little black? Okay. Layer it with a little black. Okay. And we'll put down the weekend sticker. This one and we could do Wednesday vision. So here is when I would do laundry. So let's do this. It's a really fancy way to put in laundry, but it's cute. It's so cute. I love it. And I need some functional stuff. Actually, I need some functional stuff almost every day. I don't have really a busy week. It's my infusion uh, for my lupus, so I don't have a lot of functional. I mean, a lot of things going on, but. I have some things that I need to complete at home, if that makes sense. So, and she gives you so many checklists. It's crazy. So I think that's it on checklist, and then. For functional, I have a doctor's appointment, which is my actual infusion, and that's going to be on. Oops, that's going to be on Wednesday. So I do want to mark that. But I want to leave some room for my headers or washi tape that I'm going to lay down. So. Have that and Thursday is definitely going to be a lazy day it's going to be a day of reading and a lot of things like that so not too much going on on this day so I do want to mark it as a lazy day Um, Friday, there is a garage sale that I want to go to, so I want to mark that with a green. Yeah, 
there's a, actually a three day garage sale that's going to be going on and then i also have a bill that needs to be paid on friday so i'm gonna mark that I can't get this one off the sticker. So we'll just go with this one. So we have that. Uh, Friday is also a cleaning day. So we're going to mark this on a check. It's not coming off. Checklist cleaning day so I'm gonna put that there um, it's a Sunday fun day I'm gonna put that down I'm gonna put something behind it. This one. So I'm gonna put that. Just something cute. And then I also want to mark. Actually, I want to use a three checklist for here. There's a few things that I want to mark on there. And I haven't updated my A5, so it's really hard for me to think about everything that I need to do. I wanted to try to use some of these um, leaves that are in the farmhouse book. Paper. I wish that they were clear, but that's fine. <clears throat> and I'm gonna put the clock. This clock is just so cute. The clock there. And. That's really cute. And I'm going to need some functional things here. So I think that I'm going to put another checklist on Saturday. So we have another checklist there. And let me go ahead and put down um, <clears throat> my washi for my um, header. So that way that's already done before I forget because I will forget to do it. Someone uh, commented and asked me and it was like, oh my gosh, it takes so much time to sit there and cut. And you are right, it does. It takes a lot of time, but I don't necessarily buy the headers to go with the kits a lot of times because they're extra. I mean, I'm already paying, you know, like $14 for the kit, and then sometimes it's extra. Now, this kit does come with headers. It comes with everything, but I prefer a fancier header. And I'll, this is the header, if you're curious. That's them right here. So it's there, it's right there, but they're just too plain for me. I like, you know, a little something more. So that's the reason why I um, just use washi and I sit here and I cut it. And and you can always get the perforated, Simply Build It makes the perforated. It works really well. I used it down there. Um, so I just like it, I just like it decorative, so. That said, I was fussing on my on my Instagram today on my stories because um, 
I've been having issues with my car in the past and um, I've taken it to the dealership and have gotten it fixed and well the same thing happened the same message or whatever popped up on my car this morning and it's just very aggravating I go there and I spent four hours excuse me at the dealership today and they told me it's another sensor that's out so it's just very frustrating I just and of course they found other things wrong because that's what dealerships do nothing just can't be just that one thing you know they have to because that one thing was covered under my warranty so I did not have to put out any money but they found a way to let me know that I needed two new tires at $600 for both tires but the good thing is they do price match so if I do find other tires that I could uh, they'll price match them so I am definitely going to be on the hunt I told her that I could not do it today because she said it was going to take extra time and I had already been there almost four hours and so I told her that I would schedule and come back and um but in the meantime before I do schedule that appointment I'm going to price match if I can't find anything that's for that it's that type of car that I have then you know I will definitely um just pay the money you know and call it a day I am really loving the way that this looks. So I need something functional there. I'm just kind of looking around and seeing where I need functionality. And I need one here. I'm gonna put that there. And then here, I need something to go there. So I think that I may do some deco or maybe I have some wording here, so I don't wanna maybe want to do something with some black in it there looks really cute this is just this kit is just too cute I need to put something right there I'm gonna put that there to dress that up and then we'll put some deco underneath there Let's do this. I mean, this kit is just so cute, so adorable. I could have bought like all she had, but I had to reframe. I always have to reframe. So let's put a little washi here. to use it all some of these stickers I'm having a hard time getting out which is um, they're staying kind of close to the page so I said functional right Cute. That's the 
here. I have a doctor's appointment, so there is a little stethoscope that I can use for that. So we'll put that there. And I'm gonna go to the grocery store on Monday. to see if I need to put any deco anywhere else. There's another one of these. I'm trying to cover up that little space down there at the bottom. So let me push this out the way and look at everything and see if I need to add anything anywhere else. Um, I want to put farmhouse. Let me see how that looks there. Farmhouse, that looks good. And here, I can put blessed here. That looks good. And I believe that that is it. I don't think there's any more space to put anything, but I love it. Um, I think it is so cute. I love the whole farmhouse theme. I'm just thumbing through this book just to make sure that I don't have anything that I want to use. I don't have any room to put anything anywhere. I wanted to kind of use these dinner time ones that was in here, but I don't have room for any of that. But it is so cute i am so happy let me zoom you out just a little bit just a tad so you can see everything in its glory and it looks so good so fun please check her out it is uh riverandink.com um i will make sure that i link her down below i think she has amazing kits good prices you get a lot of bang for your buck make sure that you check out um office odds and ends for the washi tape these are the other two um sets if you're interested um this is uh one here if you check my instagram um i did some cute creative ideas using this washi tape um i've also used a coffee planner mom spread with this one and so this one paired really well with this so i'm super happy about that i will have her link below with my discount code for that so uh yeah so thank you so much for joining me today on daniel's desk if you enjoyed what you watched today give the video a thumbs up and if you want to continue to see my content consider subscribing and i hope you have a good day bye